Well, hello, friends. Today, uh, we're going to try to make a quick unit test for ACK or for some class in ACK um, because uh, on a bug report discussion yesterday, I was asked, like, how can you make a unit test for, for these things? And, and you can't really right now. Um, so it would be nice if there was like a logical way to, to do that. So I thought we would just go in the ACK directory here. Um, and ACK, by the way, is the is this little library of uh, classes that can be used both in the kernel and in the user space. Um, and it stands for, I'm not sure what it stands for. Um, I tried to think of what it stands for yesterday. It's, um, I think it used to, the idea used to be that it stood for like um, abstract kit or agnostic kit or um, Andreas kit or something like that, um, but nowadays I just call it ACK. Um, and it's there and we use it both in the user space and the kernel, so it has the stuff like the strings and the smart pointers and um, uh, buffers, classes and bitmaps and stuff like that. Anyways, so well, let's just make a, a subdirectory of ACK called tests. And in here we can do something like um, uh, what do we call these? Uh, we can call them tests. Um, test string. CPP. Why not? Uh, and then I guess I guess I'm doing this in Vim for some reason. So we'll do uh, include act, act string. So let's let's write this as if it's just a regular piece of code using it. Okay. So let's say. String. Oh, what should we, uh, let's just make some because the, the the thing I want to do here is get this working on the host system so that I can compile it without um, being inside Serenity or without having to run it inside Serenity. Um, um, and then we can just assert that test string. Um, Let's do a couple of things. Okay, so let's assert. Let's and, and assert that an empty string is null and that it is empty. Okay, and then we can assert that string that is not null. And, but that it is empty. I'm just going to do a few of these. Um, that's string line. We should probably have some nicer macros for this. But these will work for now. Um, and the point of this is to just get this working on the host, like I said. Um, Mr. Comp. Rest string dot characters um, um not compared to AC def and we want to compare that to strlen of test string dot characters. Where did it get right? Uh okay. So then, let's see. How do we build this thing? So, um, I guess we would we can do it like um, test string. Test string. Um, depends on that. B. And um, we build it like that, and um, can we say that all is test string, or let's say all tests, tests, tests. Uh, okay, 
it's getting it's getting too convoluted. <laughs> um, let's just uh, make this much more simpler. So let's do test string like that. Um, and we'll just depend on the cpp file, and it'll be um, and let's say i dot dot. Clean. Um, I'm, I'm F. Uh, okay. Oh, because in make files you gotta use tabs. Okay. Oh shit. We gotta tweak the C flags a little bit. No, not the C flags. The C flags. Stada C plus plus seventeen. Wall extra. Okay. Okay. So then we got some build problems. No declaration matches. Blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, Why don't they like me? Um, pack, pack buffer. Um, there's no declaration that matches this one. It's because, oh, it's probably because it's using SIST in the um, definition and then int in the declaration. So we gotta fix that. Um, because int is the same size as SIST in Serenity, where it's 32-bit, but in my host, it's a different size. So we're just gonna use int wholesale. Wherever we're using SIST here, we're just gonna use int. Oops, I did not say S. Okay. Right, so we're going to need um, the Xtring CPP compilation unit. So, um, let's, let's just be, um, let's just be lazy about this and say, um, wait, is there something, is a way to say all the dependencies? If I have all dependencies, that's not what I wanted. Um, don't have enough time to figure it out that way. Um, I'm Oh, wait, what did I want to do? It's called string CPP. Oh, that's confusing. Um, I am in such a crazy hurry today because I'm trying to do this before my commute. I'm still like messing around trying to find the right um, time to make these during the week. It is very difficult. Um, so let's see, we have a bunch of warnings here, and then more crap about um, SST, so let's just do that, and the same for vector. Okay. And what else do we have? Uh, string CPP. Well, what else don't you like? Okay, no matching function for vector of string. 
capturing. Oh, they don't have that. Um, do I have to do something? Do I need to? Wait, no. So there's new, but maybe I need to, um, let's say, if in depth, sorry. I do like include new. How does that work? Okay, that does work. Now we just need the string info.cpp. Um, and then we have the same problem there, it seems, that we need to open that array. This is definitely something that I need to fix in some other way, but because it should be fine to include new on Serenity, maybe. And now we need string builder. Wow, this thing is it's growing. Well, this is what I get for, for not having working host build. Um, okay, now the printf implementation is whining. Um, why are you so upset? String builder. Okay, well, um, and depth implementations call oh, having sterlan so let's say um it def so, did I do that right? Yeah I think so. Um okay string builder what are you upset about? Oh, wait, I have to change the header of the string builder. Do not use SIT. Oh, this is really, <laughs> this is a really messy video. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to have time to finish it. Um, let's say else include string h. Okay. Oh, and this one needs to... Still no matching function for printf internal. Um, C star. Okay, so we should definitely avoid including stuff like that because that won't work on the host. start redefined. Okay, how are we even including that at this point? Assertions. Um, VA start redefined. Why is it being included there? Uh, oh, it's here. All right, well, no matching. No, this guy is the one remaining. So what's wrong with you? 49. What is even happening in this piece of code? Um, cannot convert app to char star amp. Char star amp. Oh, well, um, I think it was a view list app. 
Okay, it's making progress, and then it's training game. I wonder if we will get this thing actually building. Oh, I think I have maybe seven more minutes. Hey, it runs. <laughs> okay, let's let's fail somehow. Let's assert that it's empty. No, that didn't work. Okay, cool. Well, this was really hairy, but um, let's say that let's let's just let's just add this, and we can improve upon it. Because this is a piece of crap, but but we gotta start somewhere. So let's say it's ignore test string. Some, uh, oh, and let's do a sanity build, actually. I don't know if everything's going to fall apart <laughs> because of the changes I made. An extremely primitive init test um, string. Um, let's build this on the host. After this thing happily builds, please, we will just verify that no smoke comes out when we start it. Okay, well, that's weird, but that's good enough. Um, yeah, okay, so then let's just say Back, um, massage it into building on my host system without building it. Okay, so let's push that. And let's let me go to work. <laughs> so if you made it this far in this video, then I thank you for hanging out. This was uh, not the most visual video, but hopefully the start of, of being able to do some unit tests on Serenity or for Serenity or for our classes at least, uh, which is something that I've just been ignoring. So it's definitely a step in the right direction, although we're going to have to tidy this up and, and like make a proper build system. And, add a ton of tests and probably have some kind of testing framework and whatever, but I gotta start somewhere and this is somewhere. So um, thanks for hanging out and I will see you next time.